Three Idiots, 2009 Indian film about friendship, life priorities and the importance of following your heart and doing what you want to do. The story takes place in two timelines. The first one follows three engineering students as they go through university life. Uh, two of them are kind of regular, ordinary, unremarkable guys at first glance, but the third one, Rancho, is the most interesting one. He seems to be, from day one, he seems to be challenging convention wherever he goes. Speaks his mind, challenges authority, uh, has unconventional solutions to problems, uh, but then his ideas often lead to trouble and then funny hijinks, especially as he comes in conflict with the university director. Uh, and drags his friends into that conflict. And the second timeline takes place five years after they've already finished university and sees the two friends reuniting in order to try and find Rancho, find out what happened to him in the years since and where he is in life, because nobody has heard from him since they went their separate ways at the end of university. And now this cross-country adventure in search of him will reveal some long-kept secrets. So. On the surface, it's a very light-hearted adventure comedy about the hijinks of a couple of students, but it does actually have a fairly serious touch of drama as well. And I don't just mean the philosophy lessons and realizations they all come to over the course of the film, which sometimes bring to mind films like The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, but also with how critical the film is about the Indian education system and, and the pressure to be someone you don't want to be or are incapable of, of being uh, and the consequences that approach may lead to that pressure especially from the older generations um, to the point speaking of consequences to the point of suicide which the movie touches on quite surprisingly not once but twice in, in a really kind of sobering way uh, I like the lessons it's trying to import, and I think it imports them quite well. Uh, very neatly executing a story with many different characters, plot lines and twists, and then somehow bringing all of those together in ways that make sense and feel very satisfying in the end. Uh, I think the acting is very good and the chemistry between the characters feels completely genuine. Uh, there is a true feeling of friendship that permeates the, the movie and helps move it along. Two things that I didn't like quite as much. Uh, one is the runtime. I think at 2 hours and 50 minutes, the film is just a little too long. Uh, I think there are certainly parts which could have been trimmed uh, without harm to the story. And as it is, it just drags a little at certain points. And secondly, there is this very Indian idea of suddenly bursting into song and dance uh, in some scenes and the movie suddenly turning into this uh, explosive Bollywood musical. Thankfully, it's not actually a full musical through and through. There's maybe like four songs or so. And I know it's kind of a staple of Indian cinematic sensibilities, but it didn't work very well for me personally. Also, one additional point. Some scenes use music, which I swear is ripped from Ennio Morricone. The opening passages of some of his uh, spaghetti western themes and also the song called La Rena from Il Mercenario which was also used in Kill Bill. I mean, not full songs, they're just little, a couple of notes from the beginning, but I thought they were unmistakable, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, overall though, uh, Three Idiots is a solid, enjoyable piece of cinema with some great li life lessons uh, that, from what I read, had a noticeable impact of, on the Indian society ever since the movie's extremely successful release. And nowadays you can check it out on Netflix.